Hello there. Uh, this is, well, what you want to call me. Where's this going? It's probably going to go onto the Frozen Breeze channel. So, I guess you can just call me Frozen Breeze? I'm not one, I don't know what to call this series. I guess I'd call it Frozen Breeze Plays or Frozen, Frozen Breeze Goes to Hell, Frozen Breeze Fucking Dies. Probably something like that. <laughs> I think I like that, that last one. But, uh, I wanted to play some video games. So, uh, I decided I wanted to start out with, like, one of, like, my favorite games from my childhood. And that's, uh, Sonic Adventure. But, uh, we're gonna be playing it on the PC. But as there's... I added in a bunch of mods that kind of make it, like, look and run way better. So I guess we'd call this, uh, Sonic Adventure DX DX playing the way better version it's just got a bunch of mods that make it look extremely good uh, it won't fix how the game is which I know is not it's kinda glitchy but it does fix a lot of the things that make it look really shitty so let's just play the game this is I think this was my first Sonic game because I played it at a friend's house when I was super young but that I, I remember pieces of it. And then I know the first Sonic game I ever owned was Sonic Heroes because I got it from a blockbuster. <laughs> but then, uh, yeah, this was the first one I played because my friend was playing it and he let me try it out and stuff. But I didn't play, I played the GameCube version. I didn't play like the original uh, Dreamcast version. Oh yeah, the subtitles don't match the uh, the audio because I'm using a retranslated mod that retranslates all of the like text into something that fits the Japanese version better. So a lot of the intent behind the lines is fits better between the uh, this new retranslated shit. So things will make a lot more sense than just uh, oh yeah, this is happening. You are surrounded. You suck cock. They just tell Chaos to go suck cock. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of make a series where I play video games. Just to catalog which ones I've completed. Since I have a lot of them, but I haven't completed a lot of them. So it may just be good for me just to try and complete as many as I can on camera. Just to kind of check off the list. Because there's a lot of games I need to beat. But I first want to go through the ones I have beaten. To remember that, yes, I have beaten them before. Maybe my memory just sucks massive dicks. I don't know. And I won't be holding back at all about anything. I'm just going to be... This is about random stuff I'm going to be talking about. And we're starting with Sonic games, since that's probably my favorite video game series of all time. Kind of makes sense for the videos I started making on here when I first started making YouTube videos on this channel. Which were, uh... Yeah. You can still go back and see them, since they're... Like, my most viewed uh, videos on this channel. But, uh... If you couldn't tell, I really like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Not sure why. Just because, like, it's a video game series I grew up with. Sonic, can you please look at the camera instead of be twisting your neck like an exorcist? But yeah, I know this game pretty much in and out. So, I'm not going to be fumbling around like Game Grumps did. If you're a Sonic fan and you watched the Game Grumps playthrough of Sonic Adventure DX, you you probably were pretty mad because they didn't play the game right. <laughs> uh, if you've ever seen Ouch Couch, which is the gameplay version with all my friends and stuff that we used to do, uh, you could tell that I don't really like Game Grumps because they really suck at video games and they don't know how to play them. Uh, this game especially... Like, especially Sonic games. They don't know how to play those games. Maybe it's just my elitist talking. It probably is. But, oh, look at that fucking piece on the side. The darkness. But, yeah, I, they, I don't appreciate how they play Sonic games. They don't play them right. I don't play Sonic games right either. But at least I understand how they work. Yeah, fucking... I don't appreciate the game grumps anymore. After John Tron left, everything went downhill. Aaron is not the best at commentating either. Danny's alright. And I don't care about the other characters. 
They're all just characters at this point. They're not people. They're just characters. I liked it when it was John and Aaron. And that was it. Just because I like JonTron. He was, he's pretty cool. I've just been ignoring the uh, translated lines. It's like, uh, you guys can read them. You guys can understand what's being said now. Like, even these things are translated. No, the pilot's not Mr. Sonic. Mr. Sonic? <laughs> I love Mr. Sonic. Grab spinning rings. It's important as long as you have a ring. It's just explaining what rings are. Okay. How do you... She's just standing in it. Sonic show short. You can actually drown in that if you really wanted to. So Emerald Hill, really easy level. <laughs> it's the beginning of Sonic Adventures, so it must be easy. Adventure is kind of kind of seen as incomplete in some ways because it just it was rushed pretty much. Pretty much all Sonic games are rushed. It's kind of sad to say that. But yeah, most Sonic games are just rushed completion. Just because, like, Sega doesn't understand that, like, if you delay a game, it makes it better. Just because, like, you'll have more time to work on the mechanics. So, it's kind of incomplete. Do I like it more than Sonic Adventure 2? Most definitely not. Because Sonic Adventure 2 Battle is actually my favorite game of all time. This is just one of my favorite games of all time. And I guess that would definitely make me a Sonic fanboy for my favorite game being Sonic Adventure 2. But it's just amazing. It's just... it, It's amazing. That's all I gotta say. I'm completely biased. And it's amazing. <laughs> I don't have to say anything more. I am biased, so I get to say that it's amazing. My bias helps me. Which is not something you'd regularly want, but in this situation, yes. Uh, Sonic, get off that wall. No more Sonics rubbing on walls. That texture. <laughs> but the game definitely looks better with these mods and makes the full screen actually look nice. Instead of uh, when you're playing it on like the regular Steam version and it just looks like shit. You know, this the Steam version is actually a port of a port of a port, if you didn't know. Because uh, the first Sonic Adventure came out for the Dream Fast. The Dream Fast. The Dreamcast, and then there's the port for the GameCube, which is Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. Then they ported that GameCube version to the X-Bone and PS3. Or no, they ported uh, the, the GameCube version to the PC, which came out as the first original PC one, where it's just like the disc version instead of the Steam version. Then they ported that to the Xbox and the PS3. Then they ported that to Steam. So it's like a port of a port of a port of a port of an old ass Dreamcast game. So it's just, it's super old. <laughs> it's weird because this game has more ports than like most Sonic games. Most games that have never been ported, like Knuckles Chaotix that need to be ported at some point. I, I didn't even, I, what did I even talk about when I'm running through that level? It's just in my mind. Sparkles in my mind. I got five rings. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Yeah, bad. There are no rankings, so you don't know if you did good or bad. Long time no see. <laughs> Seeing how like the uh, English translators tried to translate it compared to, like the retranslated mod really makes you think. What was the intent of the original translators? Whoa, that's a chaos emerald. A chaos emerald. Yep. Wow. Oh, we just have this black bar. You know, Eggman's been doing it for years. Why can't Tails do it? And I want you to come fix my mouth. <laughs> He's really on a mission. You know, why can't Sonic just run there? Why are we taking the train? Oh, now I can play his Tails. Probably be doing this playthrough, like, just one character at a time. 
I don't know how many parts each part will be. I'll probably just uh, record them in bulk. And then just split them up. Just because that makes more sense for me. Just because I could just keep going for hours. And I could probably beat this entire game in a day if I wanted to. But I've got stuff to do, I guess. Not really, but... <laughs> I don't want to play Sonic Adventure all day. The textures do look much better with the whole Dreamcast textures. I also like the Dreamcast models a little bit more. Just because they look... I don't know. They don't look as, like, glossy. They don't look as trying to be high death. They just look more classic. They show the evolution between classic Sonic and then modern Sonic way better. Because if you play the original... Uh, DX version, you'll just be playing with like super glossy textures that make it like way too modern Sonic. Oh yeah, they called him Eggman. <laughs> Who cares about the story? I only want to talk about uh, Eggster. Whoa, whoa, Eggster. Whoa, <laughs> that's my Sonic voice. It's go whoa, gotta go fast. Whoa, fucking. What? What is? How, that's supposed to be an egg hornet. What? How does that make it a hornet? You just gave it like rocket launchers, and then you put like drills on it. How does that make it a hornet? Yeah, I remember what's named. <laughs> Fuck it. You know, for some reason this version is like way easier as like tails. For some reason, it's also extremely easy as Sonic, just because you can just do the thing I'm about to do. And the boss is over. <laughs> you just need to spam. Yeah, Eggster, you suck. How how does any of that make it into a B? Sonic's hands need to get fixed. Sonic, your your entire body is just a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's like humping the fucking Eggmobile. <laughs> What's it called? Eggomatic? I think that's what it's supposed to be called, the Eggomatic. The little like flying thing that you can just use for anything. It's like the Wily Machine in Mega Man. <laughs> Alright, Chaos, take this. Alright, Chaos, time to eat. Eat Puddles. His name is now Puddles. That translation. Ugh. Look at that look at that throw. <laughs> you know, you never fight Chaos One. I wish you would have been able to fight all of the different forms of Chaos. But it's like you skip Chaos One, you never see Chaos Three. Uh I don't think you ever look at Chaos Five either. You miss like all the odd numbers. And you're able to fight all the even numbers. You fight Chaos Four three times, so I don't know why they decided, like, oh, you can just fight Chaos 4 three times. Instead of, like, where's Chaos 1, 3, and 5? Find another Emerald! Like, I know Chaos 2 went directly to Chaos 4, but it's like, we never got to see what Chaos 3 ever looked like. It's kind of like, it's just a missed opportunity. Look at their fucking cuffs, like, clipping through their feet. You know, I love your lip-syncing tails. <laughs> oh, and now we're back. <laughs> what a good jump cut. And then tails just disappeared. Grab that thing. Jump, jump. You know, it's like explain that this is also Angel Island. But, like, are we supposed to be on Angel Island zone? Going from, like, the 2D games to the 3D games, zones just kind of disappear. Like, if you wanted to be, like, new Sega, where it's like, oh, Classic Sonic happened in a different dimension, which doesn't work at all, you could try to explain that, like, zones only exist in that dimension. But then, 3D Sonic still remembers things that happened in those other Sonic games. So, uh, the whole dimensions thing just doesn't work at all. It's just them trying to fucking... Make a separate character. Instead of being like screwing around with time travel again. Which I guess is better than screwing around with time travel I guess. But it's like you already explained it was time travel with classic Sonic. 
Sonic Generations is just... It's a pain in the ass sometimes. Because it's like... The ideas it brought to the Sonic series kind of fucked up the entire continuity. So... I don't know. <laughs> it's like time travel exists now. And then now there's another Sonic. And then time travel, even if it does exist, it doesn't change the past at all. Because fucking Classic Sonic learned uh, the homing attack. Unless that was supposed to be Classic Sonic right before Sonic uh, Adventure. But I don't think that would have worked at all. Because it seems like he never knew like Classic Knuckles. Like, why didn't we see Classic Knuckles in Sonic Generations? Or Classic Amy? Which means it must have took him someplace, like, after, like, Sonic 2, I guess. I don't know. The continuity of that just doesn't make any sense. And then, adding in Gen... Uh, what is it? Mania? Just kind of fucks it up. <laughs> I don't know. I never really liked the classic Sonic ones. Like, Sonic 1, I really don't like. Sonic 2, I don't really ever want to play. Sonic 3 and Knuckles is the only, like, classic Sonic game that I really want to play. Just because, like, it's the only one I have any kind of fun with. Oh. Just do this. Make yourself super speedy. But, yeah. Those are, like, the only classic Sonic games I really enjoy. I don't count Sonic Mania as a classic Sonic game, even though I like that game. I count it just more of, like, going back to the classics. Because it wasn't a part of when the classics were made. It was just made later on in the classic style. Like, I don't hate 2D Sonic games because I love the Advanced series. I just don't like the classics because... Everybody says, like, they're supposed to be fast games. Like, Sonic is always about going fast. But the first, and the first Sonic game was actually extremely slow if you play it. Like, if you go fast, you're punished in that game. So it's like... You're not, it's not actually a game about going fast. It's a game about, like, using momentum to slow down. <laughs> it's like you don't want to be fast when you're doing any kind of platforming in that game. So it's, it's just a pain. Best way of explaining it, it's a pain. More rings. There's no point in getting the rings because, like, the only way you can use the rings is in the Chow Garden. And this version of the Chow Garden sucks. So... No point in getting rings. The only reason you want them is just to, like, kind of... I have no clue. D just to have a better score. But there is no ranking, so it doesn't matter. You know, without that being said when I was a little kid, I wouldn't have never thought of go to the fucking casino. So, I don't even know. Without the dub, I wouldn't have known to go places. Like, this game can be pretty confusing when you're a real little kid. Like, you won't know where to go unless you listen to the sound cues. And the sound cues make little to no sense. Where am I supposed to be? Yeah, I'm supposed Because you can't go through that version. You have to go through here. I think. No, it's been a while. <laughs> I only played this game like a month ago or so. Oh, we have to go get the light speed dash. I forgot. You know, at least in Sonic Adventure 2, you get those things inside stages, so you never miss them. In this game, it's like, you will forget that they exist. Yeah, fucking light speed dash. My favorite one in Sonic Adventure. Because it takes forever to fucking, like, charge it. There is a way to, like, in the mod loader, there's a way to make it, like, shorten down the time. But it's like, I didn't want to make it so easy, so I wanted to show you guys the pain of using the Lightspeed Dash. Yes to call. Whatever you say. Why is Sonic floating? I don't know. Anyway, the Lightspeed Dash, you just... You hold down the Spin Dash button, and then... There we go. And it takes forever to do that, so if you want to do that in the middle of a level... Oh yeah, I broke into your store, bye. Uh, it would just be a pain. <laughs> so, I don't fucking know. There's no point. I guess we could talk about, like, the characters. And, like, all their stories and stuff. I guess since we're not inside of anybody else's, let's just talk about Sonic's, I guess. His is literally just beat the shit out of Eggman. It's just, like, a classic Sonic plot. I mean, like, later on, it gets, like, entangled between the plot of T'Kal and stuff. But, like... 
that's not of any kind of concern to Sonic at the start. It's just Eggman's being an asshole. Let's go kick his ass. <laughs> that's most Sonic games anyway. They kind of lost the whole like, oh, we have to go save critters. After, like, a couple of, like, games. Like, there's no more, like, stopping Eggman from being an asshole anymore. It's just kind of like, oh, uh, Eggman's being bad, so let's go kick his ass. <laughs> Not that complicated. Uh, I want to go to the Knights one. Just because I like Knights. Also, that one gives me, like, more rings. <laughs> I never really liked this level. It's such a fucking pain to get through. It's like it takes forever because you need to build up 400 rings. Come on. <laughs> like it's cool to see Sonic bouncing around as a pinball, but it's like it's just kind of it takes forever to do. It's like you got to watch that animation every five seconds. See, it just keeps going up there. I'm no good at pinball. Never gonna play Sonic Spinball. Don't ever wanna play that game. I got like one pair. Can I get that? There we go. Like literally, it takes 400 rings. And that'll take like a couple of minutes. Okay, we're in the better version. Where it's like you grab the... Uh, Grab the what's, grab the cards. And if you get the pairs and stuff, then you can make more monies. And then this little animation does nothing. You just stare at it happen. <laughs> like, you can kind of see Sonic's form in there. I think that's just a glitched out texture, though. In the original game, you would only see just, like, a blue ball. There's literally no point in that. It's just, like... Here's a cool little animation you can look at. I got one pair. Cool. And then you just watch this animation. It's like, man, I'd rather be playing Knights in the Dreams. Instead of been staring at something that looks like Knights in the Dreams. Maybe we'll do Knights in the Dreams since I've never actually like beaten it before. I think that would be a fun game to do. Then we could play Knights Journey into Dreams. Like the weird Wii one. <laughs> that one's weird. Alright, we need to get that little dude's thing. Like the little boy up there. We gotta get the little boy. There we go. Now I've got another pair. I've only got like 60 rings after 2 minutes. So you can tell that I already am just like... Don't care much. How do you... How are you supposed to like have fun with pinball? Like, when you're playing real pinball, it's a little bit more fun because, like, you have people around telling you, like, having fun with you. But it's like, when you're playing, like, virtual pinball, is there any reason to even play it? It's just like you're just fucking around with, like, a virtual pinball. And it's not like anybody will ever see your score. You're just doing this literally to fuck about. <laughs> now, if I could get that other Knights one, that'd be cool. Oh. Can I get that Knights one, please? How do I get up to it? Well, I didn't get what I wanted. I, I would have gotten it, but... <laughs> fucking that thing was in the way. Mm. I don't know much about the lore of Knights into Dreams. I know it's like... A little boy and a little girl get, like... Taken to, like, a, a realm... By, like, knights or whatever. And knights was, like, evil. Way back when or something. So, uh... Then he went good or something. So now he wants to, like, stop the peep the person who made him or whatever. I think that's the plot, if I remember. And it's just, like, the little boy and the little girl help out knights, who is an ambiguous jester person. It's like, is knights a girl? Is knights a guy? I think it was explained that, like, Knights takes on the gender of whoever uh, he's linked with. So he can just be a guy or a girl. And it wouldn't matter. 
Somehow I need to, like, not hit it that hard. Please just let me keep hitting, like, the cards up here. Just... If I can just keep hitting these ones. And we're back down. We have to watch this animation again. It's already been five minutes. <sighs> what is... I'm only, like, almost halfway there. Maybe this Knight's one isn't an amazing one. I know there's a place to get way more coins, rings, and that's going through, like, the sewers and stuff. We have to lose all your balls. All that I want is to get, like, a bunch of rings here and then chuck them in and then go do something else. Okay, at least we lost another ball. One more ball and then we don't have to be a ball sack anymore. Cool, we got more. We're at 200 now, so... No need to worry about fucking losing your mind, because I already have. What, how, what interesting commentary can you give when you're just throwing the fucking ball at people? It's like, there is nothing. You just stare at it, and you just press the X button every five seconds. It's like, cool. I got another card. I wonder if I'll get another card. Oh, look, I did. Maybe the slots one is better. I don't fucking know. I just know that I always use this one. Even though I get mad at it. I mean, I like the Knights music it plays, but it's like... It's just fucking pinball. What fun is there in pinball? Can you have any fun with pinball? And then Sonic, I guess you could do this a bunch. I guess I forgot that you can kind of control Sonic by shaking the board. I guess I accidentally got it up there. I can make you have a fucking a panic attack. For a panic attack, go up there. I can just make the screen shake a bunch. <laughs> there we go, I'm out. Alright. I need to throw the rings in and then, like, yeah. We're almost fucking there. Unless we're already there, in which I don't think so. Yeah, we still need more. At least it gave us so much time. It's just, like, a fucking waste of time, though. Let's see, where the hell is the, the Sanic one? Here's the Sanic one. It sucks. I can still do this. Can I just fuck with it up here? No, go back up, Sanic. <laughs> Don't want to have a seizure? Ah. Uh... No, Sanic. You suck. I guess Sanic sucks so much that he couldn't get back up. We're close to having it. Oh, we're back. <laughs> we're back to this thing again. <laughs> I couldn't get through. I'm close. I just need 110, I think. <laughs> I even trick myself sometimes. Lost one. If you, I could just go to the sewer. I could get the rest of what I need. <laughs> I could just fuck with the ball. <laughs> Didn't get anything. There's classic Amy, if you ever wanted to, like, look at her, I guess. <laughs> this is just me when I play pinball. I just sit here in boredom. Wow, I got another extra life. At least this place gives you a lot of extra lives. <laughs> I almost got, like, a thingy. 
Go up. Okay, we're going into this one now. Mmm. Now, isn't that a strain on the eyes? Somehow it got up here. We still need two more rings, or will it just be like, ah, uh, you're you're all good? I could probably get like rings if I go into the bathroom. Yeah, there's a bathroom in this level. I guess we need two more. Where's the fucking bathroom? <laughs> or we could attack these. That's enough. Yes, let me get up to the last level. <laughs> you see, the mode, the fucking pile didn't change at all. You just need two more. After 11 minutes, I beat that. It's no fun. No fun at all. You just feel like shit. Wow, I got the Chaos Emerald. Yeah, I don't like that level at all. It's literally just you fuck around for a while. <laughs> uh. But we won't ever have to do that ever again. Because anybody else who enters into Casino Zone, or into the Casino level, never has to do the uh, pinball. So that was the only time we ever had to pinball. Oh, <laughs> Here, take my uh, purple stink. Hey, <laughs> the purple stink. And that's what killed Sonic. No, I don't know why Eggman doesn't use the purple stink a lot. Oh, Somehow it knocked him out. Uh, Sonic's eyes are floating off of his, like, cornea. I don't fucking understand. Desperate. Busy. Okay, Tails. I'll get busy. You know, when I first played this game, I never figured out that you had to pick this thing up. I forgot that it even existed. So I was like completely confused and asking my friend, like, how the hell do I get there? How the hell do I get there? We finally figured it out is that I needed this gem thing. I was like, I didn't even know it existed. So I was like, what the fuck? Well, I was a little kid, so I was like, what the I didn't know how to say fuck. Okay, here we are. <laughs> camera. People don't understand. It's like, the camera, you you have two modes, but both of them suck, though. So. Alright, we're over at this part. Now it's time for ice cap. Ice ass. <laughs> you want to do circles? I've got some circles for you. It's weird how you enter this level. It's just you walk up a ladder. I don't know. Thanks. This level is much calmer. You should be able to jump backwards, but don't hold on too long. You'll slip right off. Don't really need to say much when you play this level, do you? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. And now we're at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, the music just doesn't seem to exist. Oh, God. Give me some rang. Come on. <laughs> I don't really like these thingies, do I? I have to remind myself that I, I don't like stuff. I do not like this, do I? You know, ice pieces don't really exist in this game, do you? There's like one ice level. But like you never really slip on the ice, because you're never really on the ice. I just killed Tails. Who gives a fuck about Tails? I am sore ass. I come from the planet Earth. Two. I've come to take all the Chaos Emeralds. To make a rock of candy. You know, I wish sore ass had his own video game. 
If you don't know who Soras is, then you didn't have a good childhood because he's my favorite Sonic character, my favorite fan fiction Sonic character. He came from the planet Earth 2 to make rock candy out of the Chaos Emeralds. That definitely made sense! Well, now I just feel stupid. <laughs> I guess, remember, little buddies, don't be an idiot. <laughs> it just sounds like a bunch of owls are, like, dying. Can I make it back up there? Probably not. Or what if I... There we go. Speed up. That was... Nah, that was stupid. Why did I fall? Transition. At least that one was pretty fast. Alright, it's time for the snowboard. Wow! His face. Sonic's facial transitions. Oh, what the hell is Sonic looking at? Man, Sonic, there's a giant, like, avalanche coming to get you, and you're staring at nothing. <laughs> Fucking Sonic doesn't really care about anything, does he? I mean, that makes sense with his character of him just being, like, aloof. Aloof a goof. I haven't been saying much in this level, have I? I've just been, like, having fun with it, I guess. Me falling and being an idiot. Oop. Now, like, the avalanche is just gone. So even if you, like, fuck up a bunch of times, the avalanche won't ever get you. <laughs> Do you know You know, how does Sonic take these to the face? It doesn't make any sense. There you go, take the jump. How does he just smash his face through icicles? Like giant ice glaciers. Maybe Sonic just has a really hard head. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow I pulled that one off. Oh, there goes... I don't even... You can't even hit those things. Don't even know what they are. But you just can't hit them. Uh, back of my head. Dodge. Come on. I could go down that way, but it doesn't matter. I don't know if I've ever been down that way. There's a lot of things in these games that you just never experience. So it's kind of cool to see them. Kind of like how people complain that in these games, like, there is no branching paths. And they're like, Sonic was always branching paths. And I'm like, I don't give a shit, my man. I grew up when Sonic was this. <laughs> when Sonic could survive a fall like that on a skateboard. Yes, yes he didn't even get it. He's just like, yes! <laughs> yeah, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> is there any point in emblems? Ah, I don't think there is. It's just like, it's just like a, a completion thing. It's like... You could get them all. It's like, yay, I 100% completed Sonic Adventure. When it's like, you don't get anything for it. Actually, I think you get to play as Metal Sonic. That's kind of cool, I guess. If you're a Metal Sonic fan. To which I'm not, but... Mm. Oh yeah, we have to go talk to Knuckies. Knuckles. Yo, what's up, Knuckles? You suck? Do you chuckle? Why does your fur look like a... Plush toy. Knuckles. Then Knuckles just wanted to kill everybody. Something bugging you? <laughs> no time for games, Sonic. No time for games. Yeah, right now. <laughs> what? Let's just see you take him. Huh. <laughs> His fucking face. I mean, soon we're gonna see my favorite part of like all of Knuckles' expressions. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no. Give it your best. Oh no. Give it your best. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. The Chaos Emeralds. No. What would be cool? Like a 3D version of Sonic 3. I think that'd be cool. But I don't know. <laughs> just a thought. Like it would just be the uh all the levels and all the story from Sonic 3. You just make it into a 3D game. Kind of be like Robo Blast 2. Oh, there it was. <laughs> Just whoa. That's right, fool. You made it all too easy. <laughs> Practically gave them to me. 
I used your personality to my advantage. Unless it could possibly be. <laughs> That's what that line's actually supposed to say. That that line made no sense. The original line is just like, what? Sonic wasn't tricked at all. Egg fucking Knuckles was, but it's like, must retranslate it. That makes a lot more sense for him. Oh yeah, he's two now, but that's because he got the other emerald. Wait, that color... Doesn't he already have that emerald? Like, if you look in Chaos's left arm, he has the blue Chaos Emerald. Maybe he also got, like, a, a teal one. No, he had a white one. I don't know. The, the colorings of the... You don't ever try to track it because it doesn't make any sense. Man, that water looks super clear. It also looks super deep. I think that pool behind us was not that deep. This, like, boss is just... It's just boring is what it is. You play it so many times that it just gets super boring. It's like, Sonic is probably the easiest way to play this level. It's just like you run around and wait for him just to appear back up and then just homing attack him. Oh. <laughs> and then let him phase through lily pads. I don't think I've ever died from the water here. I think I've died from just accidentally not hitting chaos in the right way. But I've never died from, like, drowning here. Because you can just jump and homing attack to escape. Okay, one more hit. I don't even know if it's like, would you drown in this level? Or would you just, like, fall under the water and die? Because I don't know if there'd be even a threat of drowning in this level. Oh, there he goes. Whoop, jump it. Oh, <laughs> random hit. Jump high. And it's all done. <laughs> that Sonic drowns. <laughs> and then the glitches. Gotta love the glitches. Because we're still using the modded version. <laughs> Got two rings. I need myself some Dr. Pepper. Are we staring? Oh yeah, this is like one of the CG cutscenes, which are like barely in the game. <sighs> Gotta love Dr. Pepper. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I guess you guys will never know what I was looking at, but it's alright. I don't even know what you're saying. You're too quiet, Eggman. Turn you up on my side. I don't even know if you guys can hear what Eggman's saying. That's alright, though, because you can just read the cutscenes. If I were to turn on the Japanese like voices, you would just be hearing, and you wouldn't understand. You'd have to read the fucking subtitles anyway. So just leaving them on is just like, it's alright. You can just listen to the cringe. Do people still use that word? I don't think so. <laughs> that smile. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. Uh, until, like, Knuckles appears on the egg carrier, but don't worry. Going! Where are we supposed to be going now? Let's see. I think we're supposed to be going towards Speed Hideway. Highway? Hideway? Speed Highway. <laughs> oh, I never got the, uh... What's it called? The Blue Ring. I should probably go and get that. Just so I could be like, oh guys, here is like the only optional one for Sanic. And it's pretty easy to get. If you ever want to get the blue ring, you just go... Go up these stairs that you think are just part of the background and then... Got it. 
Sometimes it takes me a couple tries, but I got it. Oh, it's called the Crystal Ring. I call it the Blue Ring just because it's blue. Oh, wow. I can speed up the light speed dash, which is extremely useless in this game. But, yay, I can do that. See, I forget what to do, so let's just ask to call. Go to the Mystic Ruins. You might find something. Are we going to uh, the Angel Island part? What are we doing here? I don't... I don't even remember. Because there's no more low... Unless it's like you have to go this way. But What's the matter? What are you waiting for? I don't, know. don't ask me. I forgot. It's been a while. Last time I played this, I didn't get this far. I was just fluffing around. This is the way you would get to the egg carrier. Maybe it's that... Why would we go in... I don't think going into the, like, forest would do anything. Maybe it's that we need to go to Angel Island? I guess, like, that's all the Mystic Ruins, and then going this way is Angel Island. Are we going to Red Mountain? No. I know there's another place over this way. You know, I forget. I was complaining that the Game Grumps didn't know how to play this game. I probably don't either, but that's... I at least knew some of these things. Wait, we're going after the egg carrier. We need to use the uh, tornado. I forgot. Yeah, there we go. I forgot. I at least went and got the crystal. The crystals crash! Yes, we just watched this cutscene of Sonic watching Tails' house. <laughs> Me too, Sonic. Let's see, which has better music? Sonic Adventure 1 or 2? Ah, they're kind of half and half. Sonic 1, uh, Sonic Adventure 1 has a lot more mixtures of music. And then Sonic 2... Adventure 2 is much more consistent. So it's like, what kind of music do you want to go for? So like, Adventure 1 just has a bunch of different tunes. While Sonic Adventure 2 has many... Oh, what the fuck is wrong with Sonic? He looks like a Roblox character. <laughs> but, uh... If you're looking for certain kinds of music, it's like, you just kind of depends. I like Sonic Adventure 2's music more. Just because I like, uh... I like, uh rock more. And then I like uh, the shitty fucking Knuckles rap musics. I also kind of like uh, Rouge's like fucking relaxing shit. Now that I think about it, both of them have like very different styles of music in them. They're all kind of a mixture of stuff. Sky Chase, there's just... Uh, there's nothing to do on Sky Chase. It's just... Uh, it's just a score attack mode. That's all it is. There's nothing to say about it. It's just like, oh, the spectacle is kind of cool. There was supposed to be like a dragon boss in like Sky Chase Act 2. But it's like it was removed from the beta. Like, I, I've got, like, the beta restores mod, but it's, like, it won't restore that because there was, like, nothing to it. Like, there was only a model and that was it. We don't know how the fight was even supposed to go down. So, there would be no reason to restore it because we don't have any way of figuring out what it was actually supposed to happen. I wish this mode was a little bit more like something something than just me spinning the sticks around and holding down the square button. Fuck. <laughs> the tornado's got a lot of health though, so you never really need to worry about dying or anything. It's weird that they can just take on this entire battleship really easy. It's like, how does the tornado even take down so much stuff? And for that matter, how the hell do they put an entire stage on this thing? It doesn't look too big. 
I don't know. It seems like Sonic could run around the entire thing in like a couple of seconds. You know, Tails, how are you able to do that? How are you able to do like spins like that really fast? Planes aren't that fast. <laughs> Way to go, Tails. I look like I'm from like Sonic Jam. Literally, he looks like he's the 3D version of Sonic from Sonic Jam. Okay, Dean Bristow. The original Eggman. <laughs> Dude, they just look so weird. <laughs> Woohoo! Wow. Wow. That, that was that was nothing. Just all you did was just spin in circles. Oh, Sanic, how are you running in midair? How why are you running in midair? A better question is why are you running in midair instead of like falling? <laughs> Tails? Tails. <laughs> Sonic, please. You're not who I'm looking for. <laughs> I guess he was talking to the little girl. The little girl is never acknowledged again, whoever she was. She's my favorite character. Just the random little girl who Sonic said, You're not Tails. <laughs> she has no name. But we definitely know that she is not Tails. <laughs> Sonic almost fell through the fucking ground. Alright, I think this is where we meet Amy? Or is this where we go to... Uh, Speed Highway? I can't... I don't remember. This is where we would meet Amy. But I... I don't... Oh, we would come out that way. So we need to find the key, wherever it is. Let's ask it. Staff only. Yeah, I know that. Ah, fucking Sonic got hit by a car, jaywalking. I think the uh, road to Mystic Ruins is fucked up. Okay, to call. I just keep calling it to call because, like, I already know that. This isn't for, like, new people. This is mostly just for me to fuck around with. So, I don't even know. Long time no see! Amy, uh, you don't get to say that. You haven't, we haven't seen you since Sonic CD. Or if you count the comics, then we've seen her a lot. Like, Sonic the Comic or Archie. She's in both. But, like, since the games, we haven't seen her since, like, Sonic CD. And she was called fucking Sally Acorn in the, uh, what's it called? It was, uh, she was called Sally Acorn in the American Manual. Not sure why. Just because, like, they knew that that was a Sonic character and that it was female. Okay, we go to Twinkle. Oh, hey, Zero. I mean, Sonic probably could have just killed him. I mean, we know later that Amy can just kill him, but she just decided not to. Huh? Uh? <laughs> yeah, that definitely wasn't what the Japanese mode was supposed to say. <laughs> I like the English version of that way better. Man, she's such a fucking pain. He's like Akashi. What a pain. Why didn't he run? He just wanted to run on the right side. Sonic is just cool like that, I guess. Not really. He's kind of a fucking doofus. I'm way cool. I'm actually a fucking idiot. Sonic, how'd you do that? You guys suck. A bunch of fucking Mr. Game and Watches. You know, since I'm Sonic, I get to choose the green one. How do I drive? Oh yeah, hold down X. Because <laughs> I am playing this with a PS4 controller on the Steam version. So that's why I keep on saying, like, all the PlayStation controls. Gotta go fast. Fuck you guys. Can you drift with this thing? No, I don't... You just have to let go of the X button to, like, do better turns. Man, Sanic, you suck. 
Got an extra life, though. I died. <laughs> Good job, Sanic. How do you... How can you run into these things and then make them blow up? But not, uh... Like the fucking, uh, coconuts. I wonder if that's what they're still called. Cause, like, there was coconuts from the Adventures of Sanic the Hedgehog version. Fucking Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog is the best meme ever. Just because snooping as usual. There we go. Hard turns. You know, why did that... Why did I kill them then? I guess I just have to hit them straight on. I got another extra life. Pff, I almost glitched out. Woohoo! I guess that's where that sound bite came from. <laughs> you want... You know, there's like a go-kart game in like the second game. This is the original go-kart game. And this one sucks way worse. Where the fuck did you fuckers come from? I'm the fastest fucker alive. You can't catch me. <laughs> is there something? No, that's just Shadow. The Shadow is really fucked up. I mean, Shadow is fucked up, too. If we ever play fucking Shadow the Hedgehog, I'm going to be losing my fucking mind. Because I don't want to play it because it sucks so bad. I say that Sonic uh, 06 doesn't suck as bad as fucking... Uh, what's it called? Shadow the Hedgehog. Just because Shadow the Hedgehog is obscenely boring. It's just, it's missions. It's all missions. And it's so fucking painful. But, like, Sonic 06 is, like... It's like, the levels are fun to play. It's just that the controls are horrible, and there's so many glitches. Like, I've done a complete playthrough of Sonic 06 on Ouch Couch. And I've shown that I don't hate the game. I think the game is kind of fun. It's just a guilty pleasure at that point. Who knows, I may play it for this, too, just to be like, uh, I just want to play Sonic 06 again. I want to show that I beat it myself, and that I didn't have to deal with uh, the guys just not knowing how to play the game. <laughs> Fucking, <laughs> they were having no fun while playing that. I was having fun just because I like Sonic 06, because I'm a fucking masochist. No. <laughs> that noise. Give me a ring. At least I have like a million lives. That's one good thing about the first Sonic Adventure. You can get a lot of lives pretty easy. Don't have to worry about fucking running out of them too easy. Do have to worry about jumping though. <laughs> and how sometimes that doesn't work. Oh look, it's my favorite part of the level. We'll be back. We're always back. Who knows, maybe I'll do that playthrough immediately after Sonic. Just because, like, I want to get over with the pain. Oh, I didn't even know that. If you press square in midair, you can just drop out of the ball motion. Which I don't see the point in, since you have way more control when you're in the ball. <sighs> well, now we're going to take the underpath. Which is what Amy takes. <laughs> Man, it kind of is cool to see all the parts where Sonic just won't... Act need to go through but like other characters will like this is an area that like sonic has to go through but that area earlier where we fell down sonic usually doesn't have to go there it's usually just uh amy that needs to go there but you can still go there as sonic showing that like these levels are interconnected all right we'll show you a cool use of the uh light speed dash there we go and if I do play Sonic 06, I'm going to have a lot more fun than I did the first time, because then I'll, like, get all of the, uh, gems. The gems are, like, the most fun part, just because it breaks the game. And I like breaking the game. <laughs> Much more fun than playing the game for real. What are those bag things? I keep seeing them. Oh. Now we get to go do the, uh... Capsules. Ugh, I gotta sit up for my chair. How many levels am I in? only been playing for like an hour or two like i know this is a very long time for playing sonic but it's oh shit. i said oh shit i bet that robot hauled butt after her hauled ass i better catch her before it does 
I better haul ass. I think he's... Now we're going to Speed Highway. Yeah, because that thing spawns. Fucking camera, please. That's the worst part. Just the camera just doesn't really know what to do properly. And, like, there's two options, but it still sucks. <laughs> Sonic, you can walk through there. Just throw that at the wall. Wow, Twitch. Stage 6. There's like 8 to 9 levels. We're almost done with Sonic's fucking playthrough. Like, I think there's 9 in all. So we're almost done with Sonic. Then, well, we could go to Tails, or we could go to my favorite character, uh, Duke Nukem. I'll probably go to Duke Nukem, just because, like, I want to get the most painful part of the fucking playthrough over with immediately. Ooh. Speed shoes! Didn't help me. See, he's always been attacked by the police. The police just phase through things. Now that's topical. <laughs> I don't like being topical. And now the speed shoes are over with. Sonic, you're still floating. Alright, there we go. Oh, more speed shoes. Okay. Gotta go fast. Alright, uh, you gotta tend to hang on the helicopter. You see, the speed shoes, not always good. <laughs> I didn't know you could actually hurt yourself on the helicopter blades. I mean, it makes sense in real life. But it's Sanic the Beef Hog. Now, I'd also like to play through, like, Sonic fan games. Just because I really like Sonic fan games. Play games like Sunak the Beef Hog. Wouldn't play Sunky, though. That game series is overdone. A lot of people play that. And it's kind of not funny. I only like Sunak the Beef Fog. Uh, almost died. <laughs> oh, yeah, you gotta. It just falls. <laughs> I guess you can get hurt by the rotary blades here. So I guess I'm stupid for just not realizing that. But you never really fall in there. Because you're not re really ever going to get that speed shoe right there. Fucking doing this with like the side of my thumb is no fun. <laughs> and then we just walk out. Alright, we're already at the end of the level. Most levels just aren't that long. Like, the longest one is usually just, uh, Casino Zone. I just keep calling it that because I don't know the actual name. See, Sonic can outrun a car. He just speed dashes a lot. <sighs> Time to go for a swim, Sonic. And we're at the end. That's a good way of getting, like, the extra ranks. Just smash the shit out of the spin dash button. Because your momentum just keeps going up. Yeah, not, bad. not bad. Bad. Not bad. Not so nice car. Alright, and then, uh, what's up next? I don't know. I think it's that you gotta go to the egg carrier. I just beat Egg, not Egg, fucking Speed Highway, so where should I... Maybe it's like the casino part. I think I remember having to go to the casino area. Amy? Oh, man. But you're see? supposed to go here for some reason. There's Chow in space. Ah, Sonic! Sauce Nick! <laughs> you know, Sonic, I'm just gonna do what, I, what that guy told you to do by just running there. Fuck you guys. How did you send up a train system in, like, five seconds? Bleh. So I could just run there. He just chooses not to. There's nothing that way. It just goes out to the fucking sky. Hunk of funk. Hey there, bolt brain. You better get Amy to me or I'll squash ya. <laughs> hey, cool Freddy. I think that's what he said. 
Cool Freddy. What about Uncool Freddy? Uncle Freddy. Uncle Freddy's fucking dead. What's happening here? Oh, there. You see, it's. <laughs> look at that texture. Fucking. It looks like shit. Stop. You know, I don't know. Look at that thing. Looks horrible. Why didn't I get a mod that fixes that? I didn't know it was gonna look so bad. I thought all the textures would be HD. But that one just. It looks like epic crap. Look at it. Look at the fuck. Look at that fucking thing. Looks like it was made of Crayola model fucking magic. It was Crayola fucking model magic. You know, Chris Chan is a hero. I want Sonichu Adventure. <laughs> you ever read Sonichu? It's really bad. You know, there's ads for Sonichu games that don't exist. Because Chris Chan is fucking delusional. Why do I know so much about Chris Chan? You'll never know. Unless I tell you, which I probably will at some point. I'll talk about my... My, uh, fascination with a fat autistic dude who's pretending to be a woman when he's just, he's just in it for the China, which it never works. So I don't know if he really is in it for the China. I think he's just delusional. Either that or he's just playing pretend. Oh God. It's probably, it probably makes more sense that he's just playing pretend because he's a fucking idiot. He isn't, he's only high functioning autistic. He's not fucking like actually having actual autism problems he's just he's his own fucking like idiocy is what makes him go this far fucking chris chan i i don't want to a log but it's like i, I don't like him he's an asshole i don't want to go as far as that one quote where what what saddam hussein was small potatoes to what chris did when it's like that's definitely not true saddam hussein was a fucking asshole so, uh, there's no point in comparing Saddam Hussein and Chris Chan, because that's, that's not a valid comparison. It's a funny comparison, but uh, definitely not valid. What if, what if Saddam Hussein and Chris Chan work together? It's like, hey, uh, Mr. Chan, uh, what do you think? Well, I don't know. Uh, I think Sonic Chu should be a representation of uh, Iraq. That's definitely not Chris Chan. I don't have a good Chris Chan impression. I'm working on it. I, Saddam, I don't know. Sonic Chu is not on the on the nuclear warheads. We need to show people the power of Sonic Chu. Uh, that's a little bit better than what I first tried. <laughs> definitely doesn't sound like Chris Chan, but it sounds like a weird dude from Virginia. Virginia. You know, Virginia. Fucking Dragon Ball PP. I love that. What the? Why is that falling apart? <laughs> okay, a uh, stage transition. No, there is none. You see, this was Jack and Daxter before Jack and Daxter was Jack and Daxter. You wouldn't get that if you didn't know Jack and Daxter, I guess. I don't know. But Chris Chan is just. I don't even know. It's so funny to see him get so mad. If he just didn't feed the trolls. As long as if he just shut up, then none of this would have happened. Like I theorize that. Well, I I have a theory that even if he like never got trolled, he would still like have this big of an ego. He'd still have a massive ego e ego ego problem just because he's like so fucking narcissistic. It's his narcissism that brings him to the fucking pieces that he's like stuck in today. If he just said nothing, if he just didn't acknowledge them at all, he wouldn't be in the fucking situations he'd be in now. I also theorize that, like, even if uh, the trolls never took, like, any notice of them, even if he didn't, like, fall into their traps at all, like, if they just never noticed him, like... Chris Chan just stayed as the one Sonichu guy. People looked at him for five seconds, ignored him, and just let him go on his way. He'd still be in these, like, situations he got stuck in. Like, his events with, like, Megan Schroeder and all that stuff. That still would have happened. And then, like, stuff with, like, the wallflower. That would have happened as well. Just because he's that much of an idiot. It's not the emotional scarring that's made him act like this. 
It's his own stupidity that's brought him to the events that he's stuck in today. Like, yeah, it's partially the troll's fault, but the, many of the trolls didn't really want to, like, emotionally abuse him. Like, trolls like Clyde Cash or uh, uh, Liquid Chris or all of them didn't actually want to hurt Chris. They wanted to, like, kind of explain to him what he was doing wrong. Like, at the same time, they were having fun, but everybody has fun making fun of people. That's just how life works. It's fun to make fun of people. But it's like, Clyde Cash actually, like, explained to him what what was wrong with him. And, like, why he needed to fix the behaviors he needed to. Along with, like, Casey... Uh, what was her last name? Well, now her name is Casey Duckworth. And, like, Liquid Chris was being, like, a harsh, like, realization of what Chris actually acts like. Because he was extremely he was trying to act like extremely similar to chris trying to show like how chris's like actions have got him into that direction and what would happen in like this weird bizarro world that if chris just ignored the trolls maybe this could have happened i don't know it just seems like like many of the trolls would call what chris would do like, calling him out on his racist actions, calling him out on his, like, well, his, uh, sexual problems. Like, the whole gay thing really fucking fucked him up, but it's like, it made sense. And, like, we even know today that, uh, the trolls were right. Like, I don't think Chris is actually gay. I think he's still straight, like a lesbian, I guess. Because, like, he calls himself bi nowadays, but he's like, I don't think he'd ever suck a real dick. That's him just pretending. Just because he wants to get in the good graces of all, like, the fucking... The social justice warriors that have now sided with him. So he just... He acts like he's bisexual. When he's not actually. He'd never suck a dick. Like, he says he would suck a dick. But from the Chris Chan that I remember, he would never do that. From our events we've seen so far, he wouldn't suck dick. He's too afraid of them. And you could also bring up the idea of why doesn't he get a sex change operation. Because he needs to keep the dick. He needs to make crystal. So that's why he keeps it. It could also be explained, like, why doesn't he just put his sperm into, like, a collection facility and just keep it there. Like, keep, like, stashes of it if he really needed to have a child. And then that just comes into black that he doesn't actually want to have a sex change operation. He wants to keep his dick because he wants to have sex. Somehow Sonic got on there. <laughs> and we're back to like those weird models. It's like, oh god, that just doesn't look good. But yeah, he doesn't actually want to have a sex change operation. He doesn't actually want to be a woman. He just pretends to be it because he wants people to treat him like an actual person. And which you can never really treat him like an actual person. Because if you do so, uh, he will destroy your entire life. Because it, it, by his own, like, reputation, the trolls and all the people who kind of get the weens that kind of get connected to him, they will just destroy everybody who tries to be friends with him. Because they want to be the a, only thing that Chris ever looks at. And I guess you could call me misgendering him, but I don't care, because he's Chris. <laughs> Chris sucks, so I don't care about his feelings. He's stuck in the situations he's stuck in, just because, well, he's a horrible person. I'm not going to go in A-log and saying that you need to go attack Chris. I'd never say that, just because, like, it would be a waste of your fucking time to go do that. I'm not saying that he's so callous that it wouldn't affect him anymore, because it definitely would affect him. I'm just saying it's fucking petty. It's like, you have way better stuff to do than fucking fuck with him. It's way better just to stay away and just see how things happen. Be a Christorian. Christorians have been always been able to just stay away from him, and then take down the stories that need to be taken. Like, there's many Christorians. Some Christorians have gotten way too close to him. Like, there's Christorians like the Base Shaman, uh, Internet, uh, Rogue Internet Man, and then Dylan Thomas. Even though Dylan Thomas never calls himself a, uh, a fucking Christorian, I still see him as a Christorian because he's taking down media to uh, document Chris. So he's still documenting him. 
he just isn't calling himself a Christorian because he thinks that he's way better than that. In which I love his uh, content. I just still think that he's a little bit way too presumptuous for this shit. He thinks of himself in such a high regard. <laughs> in which I like him, but he's just a little bit too narcissistic as well. I think all Sonic tubers are just mostly narcissistic assholes. <laughs> just because, like, it makes sense. I don't know, it just... How does it make sense? It just makes sense for me. These are all pretty much just my opinions. So, I can never say it as facts, but I just look at them as very extremely narcissistic. Like, Dylan Thomas may not be the most narcissistic of them all. I'd say, like, people like, uh... He Who Shall Not Be Named, with the guitar, uh, is, like, probably the most narcissistic, just because, like, he wanted to copyright the name Sonic Tubers, in which uh, he just becomes Fine Bros. Good old Fine Bros. The fucking, uh, <laughs> the Jews. <laughs> I just, yeah, that's just a bad idea. But yeah, most of the Christorians are great. Just some shouldn't get involved, like Gibby. Like, I like a lot of his content, too. I just think he shouldn't have gotten involved in the uh, Sockness saga. He should have just left it alone. And then Chris would have, like, I don't know if Chris would have fought back, but if he didn't, then he would have learned that his fucking pretending wasn't ever going to help him. That him pretending to, like, uh, be a goddess or whatever would get him hurt. It would get him raped by people like Sockness. And he would have learned that he shouldn't have ever done that stuff. His pretending is what got him into that situation. Maybe he would have learned, like, maybe he should just come out and say, like, I've been lying the entire time, I don't actually believe in this stuff, and that I didn't ever want to get raped by him. I'm not blaming the victim. I'm just saying that he should have learned his lesson. <laughs> what? If he learned his lesson, things would have been turned out differently. And then, like, the weens would have learned that, like, if you just leave him alone, he will learn his lesson. He might be able to. I don't know. Maybe he would have been okay with that. Maybe he would have fallen in love with Jacob Sockness, and it would have been funny. Definitely a funny time to document, Chris. Right now is like, Jacob Sockness is still trying to get into Chris's head. So it's it's a much funnier time to be a Christorian nowadays. I wouldn't call myself a Christorian, just because I don't document Chris. I love watching what Chris does, just because it's so funny. So funny to watch him squirm and be like, a fucking idiot. That's like the funniest part. But I would never want to document Chris because then I would be known for Chris. <laughs> and just like how Dylan Thomas is known way too much for Chris and Gibby is known for Chris. Once you do Chris, there's no going back. I just know about Chris because it's super funny to talk about. There's like people who talk about Chris in like a joking manner like Oni Plays. Who's like a running joke for Chris Chan. And it's like... They aren't ever known for that, just because, like, it's a running joke for them. It's fun to talk about him. Maybe I will be known for Chris, but that's okay, I guess. It's just funny to talk about him and all of his stupid ideas. But we should really get off of him, just because, like, I don't want to talk about him anymore. I've already said my piece. Fucking Sonic Adventure. It makes you talk about strange stuff. I've been talking about it since Red Mountain. See, what, am I not supposed to... That cutscene makes no sense. Is it telling me not to go into Skydeck? Oh my ass. This level is weird. Like, the Knuckles version is way weirder just because of how you have to fuck around with the entire ship. And that's kind of cool. But it's like, it's a weird mechanic. Ooh, I almost died there. No, bad eggster. I'm the fastest memester alive. I'm just fucking stupid. The ladders in these in this game. This is the only game that really has like Sonic ladders. Sonic ladders, my favorite games. As long as you have Sonic ladders. Oh god. Oh, I can't really see. Okay, <laughs> the shadow is so small. You wouldn't ever be able to tell where you land without it. So it's like it's kind of, kind of spooky. Spooky Kabuki. <laughs> Almost got it. Hey, Tails, where the hell did you come from? 
super glitchy, but if you don't hold forward, it's kind of glitchy. But as long as you hold forward, you won't glitch out. So a lot of people complain about this game like you will be glitching through things. Like, why did I fall through that platform? And it's like, well, yeah, it's kind of bad that they made it so that you could fall through that platform. But as long as you hold forward, you're not going to get hit. Just keep holding forward. It's like you've learned that for newer Sonic games. All they want you to do is hold forward. So just hold forward. <laughs> Whew. Don't want to get hit by those things. And I really like the design of this place. Just because, like, it's super cool. Ooh! Now that thing can scare you. But it's super cool just to see, like, how this place was made. And all the designs they had for it. Okay. So we need to escape this place. Uh, do we need to go up? I think I remember needing to go up. Let's see, what are, we're supposed to be aiming rockets at that thing, I remember. Oh, we're supposed to be going all the way over there. Going over here has had no effect on anything. Okay, we need to go all the way back. Sonic made it. Okay. We need to go all the way over there. Like I said, I had forgotten. Why isn't the cannon firing at me now? Run, Sonic, run. Run, Sonic, run. He's like, run, Forrest, run. Let's see if I could just get over to this side. There we go. <laughs> you can just jump up. No need to use ladders. Just keep jumping. I wonder what happens if you were to go over there and try and touch the cannon. You would probably get hurt. That's what I would be thinking. Warning. I wonder what that says. Sonic something. And then, okay. Then you run it into it. Huh? Did it die? Okay. <laughs> and then you just spawn somewhere else. Okay. I can't tell when the ship increases speed, so... Oh, that might be what it means by full speed ahead. Okay, I'm all okay. No. Bad. My invincibility frames, please. There we go. No. <laughs> I have to hold down to go that way. And somehow they're just... Oh, that piece of the egg carrier just falls apart after me running through it. Do you want sense? No, you're playing Sonic. You don't want sense. You know, this kind of reminds me of uh, Green Forest, where, like, the things are falling apart. Oh, yeah, this is where you aim a bunch of the cannons at it. You just have to aim it right at the cannon. It's firing over there. Maybe it wants me over there? Oh, what the fuck happened to it? It just disappeared. Where am I supposed to be going? It's also pretty confusing with this level, because there's there's so many straight uh, stage transitions. You don't ever really know. Because it'll just spawn you somewhere random, and then it'll do this. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, it's a, it's a this thing. I don't know all the names for badniks. I mean, most of these badniks in the adventure games don't actually have names. <laughs> How do I... I mean, just... If I... Nope. don't think I can. Then you jump there. And then you jump here. And you wait to get to the other end. <laughs> and then you wig out. We just... 
Oh shit! <laughs> now isn't this great? You can't really. Oh god, Sonic, how are you doing that? Well, was not fun. Sonic, get off there. Sonic, get off of cock. Can you actually get hit by those things? I don't. I don't think you actually can. It wouldn't make sense to be hit by them. Sonic, get the hell off. Okay, <laughs> got it. There we go. And then, <laughs> you know, I'm not a the best fan of anti gravity. It's a goddamn pain. Oh, I gotta go fast. The onion blur appears. Yeah, you know that blur between Sonic's legs when he goes super fast? It's called the onion blur. Okay, so we hit this and everything should go back to normal. Sonic phases through the ball. I think we're almost at the end of the level. Yes, we're right here. Oh god, my ass hurts. You never had it when your ass hurts? I'm still doing good. I think, what stage am I at? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm almost done. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, bad. <laughs> Egg Garrier. Now it's like the Chaos 6 fight, and then the Lost World, and then Final Egg. And then it will be the last, the final boss of uh, Sonic Story. Okay, then you spell Eggster. E G G M and then this wouldn't make any sense in the uh, American version because it's like Eggman for the Americans are just like a uh... this is for the chaos and the chows uh, it wouldn't make any sense for the American version because Eggman is supposed to be like an insult but he keeps Eggman all over his base and he calls it the Eggman Empire which is just like another, it's like way better in the Japanese version because his name is actually supposed to be Dr. Eggman. So, it just makes more sense. Time for another character battle. Sonic! Sonic! You're too late. You're late. <laughs> the bird never has a name, it's just birdie. Where are up those fucking helicopters? I saw them when we got in. The thing still has something in it, though. <laughs> there we go, Gaga. The saddest story in all of Sonic the Hedgehog. The story of how Gamma dies. And then you fly. My teeth. Show them what you've got. Hi, hi. What? Just every five seconds. What? What? He's got good. What? What? Helicopter. What? And I need rings. I mean, these are extremely easy. It's like just the three hits and the character dies. I could hit him a fourth time. <laughs> Somehow just punching him makes him break. I'm not quite sure. Sonic is just really good at breaking things. It, you suck! Look at my dress. It's made out of cloth. So is everybody's shoes. Out of my way! Here's my fucking finger! He helped me! Please stop and don't hurt him. Kinda fits. Doesn't fit too well though. 
then uh, fucking Sonic starts furiously jacking off. <laughs> he really likes robots. You know, that's why he, he destroys them. He's a sadist. He's a robot sadist. Like the zoo sadists. Those I don't I don't even know anything about those, and I never want to talk about those. Those that's just disgusting. Goddamn disgusting. Oh. I thought you guys were supposed to leave. Can I talk to him? This is this would be the only time that Sonic would ever talk to E one oh two gamma. That was the only time they ever spoke. If I'm to continue, I need to change this ship back to its original shape. I guess so. There must be a switch somewhere on the bridge. I gotta find it now. Wow, Sonic is hungry. Sonic needs to go to Chili's. Like I am. After I get done with like this Chaos Six battle. Oh. I can always, you know, it kind of does like speed up the time with that one, but it's like I'd rather just have an instant one. Oh, I forget this part. Oh, what the? I can shoot a rocket at nothing. Just here, and then you. Ah. There we go. You know, you don't really act with that egg carrier much, do you? That version. You always just see like the closed up version. Monorail operation. We're going on the monorail? I don't fucking know. And then, okay. Uh, yes, I know. We need to go towards the brig. Over this way. There we go. Now we get to fight Chaos 6, which is actually like... Oh, <gasps> there's Duke Nukem. My favorite. Ah, foggy. Foggy. Oh no! Look at my eyelashes. Chaos. Could this be the same beast? Beast? <laughs> oh yes. Attack Sonic. No. Froggy. <laughs> I must say Froggy. <laughs> yes. If he's your friend, I'll help you. Just leave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean in Big's version, he just he fishes. You won't get away with this, you madman! You madman, Eggman! I mean, he turns into a giant thingy when he's perfected, but uh, don't worry about it. Ah, uh, I'm Eggman! <laughs> Eggman fucking comes all over chaos. You can do like double the damage if you have the uh, light speed attack charged up. See, so you do. Or actually, you only do one more damage. No, you don't even do one more damage. It's pretty easy to beat him, though. It's uh, Knuckles' stage when you use the max heat knuckle attack. Yes, yeah, suck that thing in. Why does it make you look like a frog? What were those things supposed to do, Eggman? Like, he's like, oh, here, have some things to kill Chaos with. I'm bored. And then... Yeah, it's pretty easy. Like with uh, Knuckles, I'll show you when we get to him. But it's like, you can like instantly kill him. Because like, some of your attacks do double the damage. Man, we're still stuck at 900. Look at his eyes. Whoa! Where's Knuckles? Knuckles is supposed to be, supposed to be part of this cutscene. I can't believe this. You have special needs. There he is. I'm taking care of everything. Goodbye, Sonic. I'm going to leave my giant flying thing in the dumpster. <laughs> Let me go 85 degrees right now. <laughs> we have to see that twice. 
Sonic, I can't go down any further. It's like that part in Sonic 06 when I fly. Dude, Sonic 06 is like final Sonic boss is like the fucking funniest thing ever. When we get to it, it'll be amazing. Or if you just want to go to Ouch Couch and watch it immediately, uh, you can do that. Dude, fucking, it's the best thing ever. Why is the lost thingy shaking? <laughs> it's shitting out all of its shitliness. Because it's a really complicated level for some reason. Very long and very weird. Ass. <laughs> okay, we finally get to, like, the bigger plot with, uh, Red McRed Ritz. That light! Are you inviting me? Are we gonna fuck? <laughs> Sonic is ready to furiously jerk off again. Well, I can play it big now, yay. I guess this is where I'll end off this first part of the recording. Uh, <laughs> we've been going for a while, so all the other parts have just been cut into little pieces right now, but, uh, thanks.